Oh, it looks like we're getting more of that wet stuff that isn't so cold. It's, uh, what was it called? It? Somebody called it ra rain, I think it is. Yeah, she's raining a little bit. That's all right, though. It's hell of a lot better than snow. You don't like it very much. The second we go outside, he like stops dead and he's like, oh, it's raining. In that case, I don't want to go out. I want to stay under the blankets. Because you're a lazy boy. <laughs> with a silly mouth. What are you doing with your mouth there? Huh? Your, your lips only half tucked in. You silly boy. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go. I was going to. Oh, oh, oh. Be careful of that. I keep fucking up. I'm almost copyrighting myself for fuck's sakes. But, uh. Yeah, so like I was saying, I was just, uh, I was going to go to my old man's and hook up uh, my new charge controller and get my battery up there, my batteries, but, uh, yeah, it's just too shitty, I don't really feel like it, I don't feel like hauling stuff like that around in the rain, you know, it doesn't tend to do it any good, just driving on the snow, trying to break it up. Um, yeah, I'll say I'm a lot, and uh, um, uh, uh, um, uh, I am uh, Sergeant uh, Stanako, or um, and I have a green uh, leafy substance, um, which I am or uh, about to light. Uh, is there anyone um, here who uh, could tell me um, what this substance? Uh, might be. <laughs> now, some of you might be wondering what the fuck I'm going on about. Other guys are probably laughing your ass off because you actually listened to Cheech and Chong. If you ever listen to the old Cheech and Chong records and tapes and whatnot, that's actually one of the skits from that. Part of one of the skits from that. Oh shit, the snow's melted down enough, I should go looking for my sign. My lawn mowing sign is down. Got knocked down by the plow. I'm sure it's fucked, but I want to go looking for it and see if I can't find it. First, I got to see if the mail dick actually brought me anything today. Now that uh, I actually get stuff in the mail now and then, I get a little more excited about the mail coming. I actually check it, you know, at all. <laughs> Before, I didn't really check the mail at, at all because nothing was coming for me. It was all coming for the woman, so, uh, you know, let her get it. But, uh, now since it's covered for me, and I got fuck all to do because it's so cold and wet. It's not that cold. I mean, it's like 8 degrees or 7 degrees out, but when it's raining like this, it really puts a chill in the bones. But man, I love seeing all this snow melted. I remember here, there a month ago, you couldn't even see the fucking ocean along here. You know, this snowbank was like friggin' 12 feet high for fuck's sakes. It's amazing the difference. Even just a few days a week makes. Another couple weeks, should be all gone, hopefully. This rain really helps melt stuff off real quick. And then staying above freezing seems to make a big difference, too. Whoa! <laughs> just about crashed there. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't let go of the steering wheel while I'm hydroplaning, but that's all good. I'm just crazy like that. But yeah. Just uh, here where I get my mail. Uh, there's people everywhere, so I'll catch you after. Alright, so I kind of got mail. Uh, this came. Pamphlet for Busy Bee Tools. Never heard of them before. So I started looking on the thing, and uh, yeah, they're only in like Alberta, BC, and Ontario. So, uh, pretty good reason why I haven't heard of them. Uh, the only thing I can assume with that is that uh, somebody uh, sent that to me. There's no, no address anywhere. I don't even know where the hell it came from. It doesn't even have my address on it. <laughs> but maybe it does and they just, oh, I don't know, they didn't show that part. But whatever. I'll check it out anyways. Drool over some cheaper prices in here because everything here is freaking overpriced like crazy. But, uh, yeah, the birds and the 
Animals are a hell of a lot happier lately. The weather's a hell of a lot better. And there's a lot of couriers down here. For a, a small community, not that many people, there's a lot of courier trucks going by. There is a few decent sized businesses, I guess, though. Like the back there, there's the store, there's a garage, which is also a, a boat place. Um, and then uh, there's like a little lobster pound on the way back from there. And then there's this fish plant over here. And then there's uh, the junkyard, which I still never heard back from. I'm sure Buddy didn't friggin' tell the manager or the owner about me wanting to work there. But, or if he did, he probably said something stupid that made them not want to call me. So, I don't know. I mean, it's a shit job. So, I don't really want to take it because I'm just so close, boys. I'm like, ugh, ugh so close. But, uh, might not be close enough. Anyways, I am going to have a quick look here. See if I can't see my sign. I don't see it there. I won't go looking. It's still wet on the shore there. If anything, it probably floated away for fuck's sakes. Because <laughs> it was wood. And uh, yeah, it was pretty close to the ocean. It doesn't really matter. I should have taken it down in the spring, or in the fall rather. I knew that. But I didn't. I'm an idiot sometimes. But, you know, whatever happens, happens. It's not a big deal. It's a sign that I don't think generated me any business. So. It's amazing how difficult it is sometimes to get business through signage. Just to get people interested in stuff. Yeah, I'm going past my house. <laughs> Driving down the road. Is that a quacker? No, it's a pheasant. Check out the pheasant, boys. There he goes. In the ditch. Notice it's starting to fog up. That's good. I'll get the snow down real quick. It's a good heavy, thick fog. Nobody's a little excited. That's per usual. It's just shaking. It. It's... But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's fading. I really should probably message the owner of the junkyard there, just so he knows for sure. I mean, maybe he did, he was told, and he just like, ah, that guy, I don't know. I don't know. I would think he would have called me and asked if I wanted to talk to him about it or something, but that's why I think it's really odd that I haven't heard anything, but hard to say. That kind of shit's kind of weird. There's a glove in the ditch there. Hey, buddy actually cleaned up his driveway. The guy's a pig. Well, it's not really a, I don't know if he's a pig, but he doesn't clean up after himself very well. He puts out garbage like a week prior to being collected. The animals get into it, tear it all apart, and he never cleaned it up for like weeks. There's garbage everywhere. I guess I'm one to talk, but I don't spread it through the neighborhood. I just leave it in my yard. Why I'm going down here, I don't know. I mean, I have no gas, but like going for a drive. Actually, if it were up to me, I'd go for a longer drive. I kind of feel like driving today. One of the days, you know. Sometimes it's nice to go for a drive on a rainy day. Just to go somewhere and do something, you know, get out of the house. I haven't been getting out of the house near enough. But, uh, back down to the ocean here. The beach down right here, too. Where I take the doggy sometimes. He likes that beach. Don't you, Bob? Surprised this place is still standing right up here. Thought that might have taken some damage from the snow, but it's still there. For how long is questionable, but it's still there. <clears throat> I haven't been looking around too, too much to see what kind of damages are around, but I don't think there's much more than what I've seen. It's an interesting place to park. Uh, so that's where that guy lives. Been seeing a guy going with lumber on the back of his truck. I was wondering where he was going. Coming down to that place to work on that place. It's weird how people get people from far and wide, but can't seem to hire anybody local. <laughs> oh, 
but whatever. It is what it is. I want to strike it rich with YouTube anyway, damn it. <laughs> I don't want to do construction all my life. I don't want to do fucking HVAC all my life, or maintenance, or even hard labor. Fuck that. I'm, not that I want to stop working or doing those things. I like doing them, but I don't like doing them every goddamn day for some jackass that isn't willing to pay enough and likes to fuck everything up, which is like 90% of the bosses, it seems. <clears throat> but that's always the thing when you're the employee, you know, always shit on the boss. Half the time, though, it's amazing that the boss is the boss. I don't know. Maybe it's just me and the people I've worked for, but these friggin' nincompoops that they get... I don't know how they get to be the boss. Maybe they just, uh... They, you know, chisel on the meat cigarette a little too much, as Pug One would say. Well, he might. I don't know. <laughs> I ain't trying to use his words. I got my own. Like, some people may think I imitate Trailer Park Boys. No, that's not it at all. Trailer Park Boys imitates me. Don't believe it? Well, how about when Mike Clattenburg, before Trailer Park Boys was even big, was actually taking pictures of my buddy asleep in the back of my old friggin' 81 Malibu in the middle of the day when he was there with the John Dunsworth uh, visiting. Because I'm good friends with John Dunsworth's son, who's Leahy, by the way, if you didn't know already. And, uh, yeah, we were just hanging out, and we didn't even know about this Trailer Park Boys thing being so popular. Wow, there's a lot more sand on, the beach on, sand on the beach the other day. But, yeah, we didn't even realize Trailer Park Boys would even become something. We had seen it. We watched it before it was uh, even edited. We had the pre-edited pre for TV anyway, uh, copies. I think it was the first two seasons, if I remember correctly. I remember a lot of scenes that were actually cut out, that's for sure. Um, well, not a huge amount, but I remember some. Uh, mostly because my memory's kind of fucked sometimes, but uh, it was kind of neat, in a way. But, in all seriousness, I mean, fuck, the whole show is based on people like me, like real-life fucking ghetto people that, you know, are crazy like me. I'm the real life Ricky. <laughs> I should have renamed myself my channel that some days I think that. Because that's really, you know, if you want a real life Ricky, I don't get much different. I actually even had a girl that liked me because I said something like that. She got all interested in me because she thought, or I told her I was a real life Ricky. She got all, all crushing on me just because of that. But, uh, yeah. Funny thing, that. But anyways, I uh, just thought I'd throw another ramble on this camera here. And uh, whatnot. i got to go up to my mom's. So uh, I'm going to end this here and uh, talk to you all later. Have fun. Alright. She's uh, 9.30 in the morning. Since the air pressure's falling, it's going to rain. But uh, I don't see a cloud in the sky. So I don't know about that. Uh, it's 15 degrees inside. A little chilly still, but we got the heat off, so uh, it's not surprising. 3.4 outside. It's actually probably a little warmer than that. Uh, the sensor's sitting on concrete, so uh, it's not going to be completely accurate. <coughs> I was actually looking at this, and I missed something. These guys are actually local. They're in Dartmouth, Albert, or Dartmouth, Albert, Dartmouth Nova Scotia. I thought that uh, they weren't local, so I thought somebody had sent this to me, but obviously they hadn't. Um, it's a beautiful day out, as you can tell. Dead calm out on the ocean up there. Be a good day for lobstering if anybody was lobstering right now, but I think the water, ocean's still too cold for them. The freaking grass is already starting to turn green, I can see it. I don't know if you can tell, but right down in here it's... You can kind of see it's greening up already. But I got my uh, my Sun Saver MPPT charge controller. I can't talk as usual because uh, that's what always happens in the, when I try to make a video. Uh, what else? What else? Um, uh, not too much, I guess. The neighbor's out trimming his trees. Um, 
I've decided for the hell of it, I got nothing to do today. Um, so I'm going to go and take bottles back. Uh, I got quite a few bottles here, and I'm going to take back the old man's too. And then uh, if I buy him some beer and maybe drink, leave him a 20 there, he'll be happy. Even though a good portion of his bottles are cans and that are mine. Um, well, cans are anyways, that's for sure, not the bottles. But uh, regardless, I'll uh, buy him some beer and uh, give him a 20 or something like that. I'm sure he'll be happy about that. And then uh, I can uh, have a couple dollars for myself. <clears throat> Probably won't be much, much at all. Uh, you know, by the time the truck's got to get its twenty dollars worth of gas, so right off the hop, there's twenty bucks of bottles gone. That's pretty much all the bottles I have here. And then plus his bottles, plus giving him beer, twenty bucks. <clears throat> Probably won't leave me with a hell of a lot, but uh, hell with it. I got to. Uh, Make some money somehow, and I'm sick of sitting on this goddamn computer all day, looking at jobs and fucking emailing people and trying to sell shit. I did just send uh, an email or a couple of Facebook messages over to Buddy over here at the junkyard. Uh, I just decided to bypass Dingus. It was that stupid white car there. It was across from the old man. I don't know what it is. Why he doesn't like me, but I'm sure he doesn't. I've gotten the weird vibe off him. He used to when I was a kid, and I used to hang out over there. But uh, now he just gives me a weird vibe. I don't know. I just don't like him anymore. And I'm positive he didn't tell anybody about the about this because he's they now they're hiring another position too. So they got two positions they're hiring for, and uh, surprised they wouldn't have called me for either. I mean, considering they're not asking for any specifics or anything like that, most likely they're just, uh, but he's just a dingus. So, email the owner, bypass the fucking problem. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, I have no great expectations. Um, it would be kind of neat, in a way, but I don't know how much, like I wouldn't be able to do too much personal stuff like I... I probably wouldn't be allowed to do much videotaping, if any. If I did, it would be, you know, just certain little things here and there. It wouldn't be very often, that's for sure, because i got to work. And I had to videotape and work at the same time and be productive, at least the eyes of a manager or boss. And, you know, I like to do my job right, so, you know, whatever. Anyways, um, what else, what else? Yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Um, like I said, I'm going to grab my charge controller, if I can remember. I'm going to take that over to Dad's and put it in my camp. I'm not going to hook it up, I don't think, today. I might later if, wanna, if I get adventurous, but uh, right now my main thing is, is just to get these bottles. We'll get the charge controller and the batteries over there and uh, over to the camp and then get these bottles all gathered up and... Uh, Grab them, take them in, see what I got, see what I can uh, give everybody else and make something for myself, hopefully. If nothing else, I can get myself a free energy drink and a breakfast sandwich. <laughs> yeah, I love the Tim Hortons breakfast sandwiches. Uh, I don't drink coffee, don't drink tea, don't drink hot, hot cocoa, none of that. Um, but I definitely do like my breakfast sandwiches. I like three things from Tim Hortons. Everything bagels with herb and garlic. I like my breakfast sandwiches, which I get a, uh, a sausage breakfast sandwich with bacon added. Gotta have the bacon and the sausage for sure, but fucking bacon's 90 goddamn cents. And it's only one strip of bacon. They say three strips of bacon. Well, yeah, if you take one strip, cut it into three, that's three strips of bacon. Because that's what they give you. It's one strip of bacon cut into three for 90 fucking cents, which pisses me off when they don't put it on there because, you know, fucking extra 90 cents on a $4 item, you know, that's like 25% of the fucking cost is the bacon. They could at least put it on there for fuck's sakes. But I always go back, I always check. Because if they don't put it on there, fuck that, I'm going back. I'm getting my 90 cents worth of fucking bacon. Damn it. Sometimes they'll even give you extra too, which is nice. 
Uh, but I like those, and I like ice caps. Uh, I don't like iced coffee or any of that, but I, their smoothies are okay. And their sandwiches are okay, but they're highly overpriced. So, uh, yeah, anyways, that's what I like at Tim Hortons. I don't go there very often. I used to go every morning and get a breakfast sandwich uh, when I was working and that. Because, you know, well, I could. <laughs> I could afford to. And uh, it's, you know, when I was living by myself especially. It was just in living in town. It was a lot easier. I'd wake up in the morning. I had a routine. I'd wake up. I'd shower. I'd get out of the house or get dressed, get out of the house, go drive to Tim Hortons, get my sandwich, drive to work, get my energy drink, be there a couple minutes early, have a drink, have a bite, and uh, get working. Mind you, it wasn't all the time I was early. It was quite rare, actually. <laughs> I was usually late, but hey, for a company that, I wasn't very late. I mean, it was like two, three minutes, five minutes at most. But for a company that, uh, doesn't give a shit about you, who cares, really? Like, if I was working for some mom and pa thing and trying to get them ahead, you know, sure, but if they ain't willing to pay shit and they're arseholes about it and whatnot, well, fuck them. Take my bonuses where I can get them, even if it's coming in five minutes late, which I never actually got in trouble for. I got caught numerous times. But I also stayed late all the time. I, you know, I do work after hours. I get calls after I was already home to come in and fix stuff, and I never fucking did any of that. Or I always did that stuff rather, but you know, I never charged for it. So of course, you know, they want to give me a hard time about being five minutes late. Well, I could j just turn around and say, well, look, I never billed for you know the sixty hours of time I spent at home going on the, the computer and monitoring the system and whatnot when it had to be done and they'd just be like oh yeah you're right never mind so anyways that's long in the past now and uh glad it's over with i'll tell you i don't miss that job i do actually i, I can't say i don't i miss some of the people and i miss doing some of the work i just hate or i just don't miss the administration and uh, that whole part of it there's a couple of people that were my bosses that I just could not fucking stand. I, I'd rather fucking punch them in the face than talk to them. But, you know, when you're working, you got to do that stuff. And of course, they were just fucked as well. So, I mean, when you work with a company that doesn't give a shit about anybody and doesn't pay any good, well, you can imagine what kind of good fucking people you got there. And, yes, I'm holding my uh, camera with my hand this time. It's probably a little shakier. Even though my tripod's right there. Um, my plan is to go outside. If I ever get my shit together here. Um, what else do I need? I need my keys, but they're in the truck, I believe. That's uploading. Well, I'll bring the other camera. Oh, I know what I wanted. I wanted my adapter. Whoa, extreme close up. Oh! I wanted my adapter for my camera so that uh, I can take my camera just hold on a second there's a puppy dog in the shot somebody put a puppy dog in the shot quit cut cut there's a random dog walked into the shot oh he laid down it's all good he's a good boy and I think he wants to go outside oh easy that's what I got to contend with almost every time I try to go anywhere with them. They'll jump all over me. But anyways, uh, I'll just get ready and get outside and keep filming. Alright, just in the old truck here. I'm all loaded up. With uh, my recyclables. Now, fucking copyright cocksuckers. Anyways, I'm not sure about you guys, um, you know, it, what it's like in your areas, but around here, you get five to ten cents back for every, bought, or what is it, five cents for every can, eight cents for every, like, bleer, bleh, beer bottle, bleer bottle, whatever the fuck a bleer bottle is, but uh, anyways, just the old truck, gotta drive the truck. Go up to the deads. Drop off my batteries and my controller. 
pick up some more recyclables. Hopefully uh, he's not too upset about the idea. I don't see why he would be, but you never know. We usually kind of take turns anyways. I mean, I haven't taken any bottles back from his place for since last year. The things you do for beer money video that I did, which was funny because it's actually like, I don't know, 11 months ago, something like that. I think it was the end of March that I did that video, if I remember correctly. Right now it's the middle of April, but it looks roughly the same. It might look a little nicer than in that video because it's nice and sunny and warm. And the snow is melting. A lot of boats out. Tell everybody's out getting their traps back out by the looks of it. I see a bunch of traps that have been moved, so probably going on. I didn't know what that noise was, it was the dog sniffing something. Silly old dog. Anyways, I gotta go up to the uh, up to the stall here and uh, see if they'll uh, give me an energy drink on tab. Cause I got no monies. Well, I got a dollar. A dollar ain't enough to buy an energy drink. So I'm gonna get me an energy drink on the tab and then uh, get up to Dad's, drop this, some of this shit off, pick some more shit up, and drive a whole whack more. Wait, just ah, fuck it. I'll wait till I'm on my way home. The mail deck's in front of me, and if I took my time, I could check my mail here at the same time. But fuck it. If he's got something for me, he's got something for me. If he don't, he don't. It's gonna be there or it won't. I mean, you know, I can do whatever I want. It's not really gonna make a difference. Either I'll get it today or I'll get it tomorrow, or I'll get it whenever the fuck it shows up. If it hasn't showed up yet, that's kind of how it works. But uh, speaking of that, my phone screen is supposed to be in. It said it was delivered, but I've yet to see it. Um, it says it's you know, supposed to be delivered, or it said it was delivered. And anyways, I didn't, I asked Dad about it, and no, it hasn't been delivered to him. So uh, that's where it's supposed to go, is work, so. They said it was delivered Monday, it's now Wednesday. I'm hoping that it was just a fuck up and it'll be delivered by the end of the week. If not, I'm gonna have to track it down. And oh my fuck, I really hope I don't have to go through all that bullshit. First time I order something online for fuck's sakes and that would happen. But anyways, I'm here, so I'm getting a drink. Oh yes, they call him Lobster Boat Jimmy. Lobster Boat Jimmy. Jimmy, J Jimothy, Jim Jim. Yeah, I don't fucking know. I just ramble on music that I make up in my head that's only funny to me. But I got my drink. <clears throat> Not a fucking problem. I got good credit at the stone. Especially with the woman that was working. <laughs> she picked us up from the dance the other night and I had a puff with her, so. She likes me now. They always do. <clears throat> oh my god, boys, I'm gonna soon have to take my uh, jacket off. I'm actually sweating here, which is uh, a weird thing. I'm not used to it. I'm really not used to it. Duckies. You a dick. What is he? I did not see. Oh, he's walking his dog. What a fucking place to park. Maybe that's his place. I don't know. Hey, there's no trucks. No heavy trucks allowed on this road. It's a new one. Doesn't really matter. It's already fucked. This side, the rain washes it out. And then uh, it washboards all up from all the trucks coming up and down. I'm far from the only one. There's a couple guys on the road. Huh. There's half a dozen or more guys that live on the road that have trucks. 
Not to mention there's probably another couple dozen that use this as some kind of shortcut half the time. Why, I don't know, but it is what it is. But at least now you'll get to see the driveway again. I'm not too excited about that, but it's not too bad now. It's past anyways. Charge controller fell on my fell on me. Dead leave already? Looks like I see fresh marks out of here. I think he did. That might be better. <laughs> that much easier to ask for forgiveness than it is for permission. And it's very true. <clears throat> That's how the construction world usually works. And, uh, that's how I usually work. But like I said, I don't think he'll complain when he gets home. Especially after a little long day today. In this protest. He'll get home and be like, oh, I wish I had a beer. And he'll get home and be like, he stole my recyclables, that fucker. He'll be like, wait a minute. There's beer in here. That's what I'm hoping anyways. Not here. Well, that's, that means he left probably not too long ago neither. But here, see them bags? Them's all recyclables too. Turned around here. Oh! What the fuck did I run over? truck she's a little bumpy there we go do you want to go outside huh? easy hey you stay you stay in the truck until I say you can go, okay? You stay. You stay. Stay right there. Stay right there. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. See, you listen sometimes. Just not most of the time. Yeah, we have a couple bags here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten bags. Anyways, probably more under there too if I dug. Looks like I can almost get to my camp. Amazing. Amazing. You can see the, uh, whoa, gotta hate when that happens. The trail's a little less to be desired there. It's still, the snow's pretty deep, but it is what it is. Yeah, I guess the bottles are getting a little built up. Yeah, between that and what I got, should be a half bad haul. Here's hoping, anyways. But, uh, yeah, yeah, it shouldn't be too, too bad. We'll see how she goes. Anyways, as per usual, I can't uh, film and tape, or tape and film, yeah, it's the same thing. I can't work and tape at the same time, so, that must be race. Um, I'll get this stuff all loaded up, and yeah, I'll get back to you when I'm uh, about to head out.